Defence Acquisition Council has granted acceptance of necessity for 97 additional Tejas Mark 1A and 156 Prachand light combat helicopters worth 1.1 lakh crore rupees, and Super Shukhoi upgrade of 84 Su-30 aircraft worth 64,000 crore rupees. The United States is actively exploring new opportunities to collaborate with Indian defense companies, due to the pressure on the U.S. military-industrial complex exacerbated by depleting stocks due to simultaneous engagements on multiple fronts. Lockbit has claimed that it has infiltrated national aerospace laboratories, and has threatened to release sensitive stolen data unless their ransom demands are met. The RDO's indigenous 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system went through firing trials at POC run ranges, and its performance was superior compared to foreign competitors in all categories, including maximum range rate of fire and maximum speed. The troops of Indian and Australian armed forces have started joint exercise in Australia, with the focus on semi-urban and urban terrain operations and enhancing interoperability and tactical expertise in multi-domain operations. Russia has incorporated specifically designed mini-drones on the Su-57, which can be carried externally and in weapon bay, that can perform attack reconnaissance and electronic warfare missions in swarm. Cochin Shipyard Limited has simultaneously launched three anti-submarine warfare shallow water crafts for the Indian Navy today. The US government has offered the Striker M Shore Ad to India, which is also known as Manova Short Range Air Defense System, that features air defense and artillery capability. It detects, identifies and tracks air threats with onboard sensors providing 360-degree aerial surveillance, and can destroy low-altitude aerial threats like drones and rotary wing and fixed-wing aircraft. The US has offered to co-produce the vehicles with Indian entities, but India has not taken any final decision about it. Ordnance Factory Cameria has successfully developed a NATO standard 1000 kg aerial bomb for the Indian Air Force. The Air Force currently uses a 450 kg aerial bomb as its standard ordnance, and this new 1000 kg bomb will deliver more powerful strikes against its adversaries. The DRDO is planning to convert its multi-caliber individual weapon system into a single-caliber individual weapon system of 6.8mm and 7.62mm, which will allow soldiers to choose the most appropriate cartridge for the task at hand. After the completion of conversion and a series of trials, it will be handed over to the Army for evaluation. The participating foreign aircraft manufacturer were asked to provide cost of aircraft and associated equipment for a batch of 40 60 and 80 medium transport aircraft, but Brazilian firm Embraer has estimated that the Indian Air Force is looking to procure 30 medium transport aircraft, and the company is confident that its C-390 proposal will be the most competitive. Hindustan Aeronautics has confirmed that the indigenous content in the second batch of 97 Tejas Mark 1A will be further increased to over 70% in the next three to four years, and the aim is to reach at least 80% by the end of production. HAL is working with several Indian suppliers to develop the capability to manufacture critical components for the aircraft and is also investing in research and development to develop new technologies that can replace some of imported components. Today's top 3 comments.